Okay, welcome back to Land Rover Toolbox videos again. In our last episode, we were looking at the backlash and the condition of differentials in the transmission. And we were definitely looking at the center differential as well. I told you that when you locked it into a diff lock, you could then check very positively what sort of backlash you have in your differential in your center or your transfer box. Just before we move on to the next subject, which involves a transfer box, I just want to show you that with the prop shafts off and without any resistance of the wheels holding it back, you can see that you can check the play much better with a gearbox on a bench like this. You can achieve the same thing in the vehicle with the diff lock out and the prop shafts removed. This way it takes the resistance off the diff. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to carry on with a basic transmission check and this regards any vehicle that has an LT77 gearbox in it. Okay, so the plate you are looking at, up the top there, there is a PTO drive or a hydraulic motor which fits in where the plate would be. The plate is just a cover for when there isn't a PTO fitted. If you have banging on the rear end, you might want to remove this plate, which is on the PTO cover, to check the splines and the gearing that is behind it. Right, so I'll explain this. Cover removed, we have a plate here. You don't need to dismember this. I'm going to do this to show you what's behind here and explain first of all. Right, so you have the gear here which has splines in the center. This is driven by the main shaft of the gearbox. This is the output shaft of the LT77 gearbox and this is the input gear in the transfer box. Okay, now this LT77, like quite a lot of them, have a serious problem with wear on the main shaft splines, like so. This is because of lack of lubrication. The R380 also suffers from this problem, but less so. With worn splines, what you'll find is that the gearing will slop and bang as you take up drive. The longer it's left, the worse it will get until eventually the splines will strip and you lose drive on your vehicle. Right, so the plate up here, or the PTO cover, is uh, six bolts. Remove them, get it out of the way, and what you should have is something like this, okay? and you wiggle the handbrake drum just slightly that will be with the handbrake off and the wheels chopped and if you're unlucky you'll be able to see this this means that the gearbox needs overhauling with a new main shaft and the transfer box wants at least a new input gear okay well you'll have to remove the transfer box to get the gearbox off and before anybody asks, this job has to be done on the bench. It cannot be done in the vehicle with the gearbox connected. Okay, the main problem is lack of lubrication to the splines. Now, with this gear itself, it's not lubricated. It has no oil drilling or cross drilling. Whereas this gear has, it has cross drillings which help the oil get in and lubricate the splines, which means they last a lot longer. Okay, this is a new gear. The old gear here, you can see the spline on there. You can see how ragged they are. It's because they're almost non-existent now. The banging between the two splines has just worn it away. Here are the splines on the new gear, and you can definitely see the difference in this. This gear needs to be replaced if the gearbox has the splines damaged. Okay, so I'm only going to make you aware here, I'm not going to show you how to fit this at the moment, but as a bare minimum, if you're doing your gearbox, you'll need to change this gear, which has a cross drilling in it. Or failing that, a gear without a cross drilling and an oil feed plate. Set of bearings and gasket and a seal as well, alright, you get gasket sets for about £8. Okay, so this is just a little bit of a heads up of what's actually involved with this. We're not going to do this right now, but in the future there will be a tutorial on how to replace the gearing. Okay, while we're waiting for some parts to arrive for our front axle, we're going to be covering uh, silicon hose fitting and EGR blanking. 
Until then, this is Trailer Fitter signing out.